Hello, I am Drew Leggett, Precision Agriculture Instructor for Blue Mountain Community College, and welcome to BMCC's Precision Agriculture video series. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about GIS and GPS and how those technologies are being utilized on today's modern farm. So GPS is a global positioning system. It is a way of measuring your location on Earth. Once you get three satellites or more, then you start being able to pin a point down on the Earth's surface. Everybody's looking to space. We use GPS and we're using satellites. We're guiding our pivots, we're guiding our corner arms, our end guns, the guidance for our variable rate irrigation. It's all coming from satellite. So it's amazing to me that something 250 miles above us can be so precise. We've got the technology out there to grab that and use it, and not only use it, but have it be reliable. It, it, it's just incredible to me. One way of looking at it is using GPS. A GIS is sort of a way of, it's kind of the language that, that our farm machines speak. Most tractors now are generally are running on an RTK GPS system for very straight AB lines. With the GIS, you can start to ingest different inquiries with a variety of different spatial data, your soil data, your yield data. You can ingest satellite imagery, manned aircraft imagery, drone imagery. One example of a workflow of that is by using a multispectral sensor that you hang from a drone that you've pre-programmed to do a specific flight, um, then have that resulting image um, tell what your sprayer to do. So you essentially have a robot telling another robot what to do. With smartphones now, everyone, every employee, everyone that's involved with the growing operation essentially has a sensor in their pocket. They all have a GPS um, integrated. Um, it's not centimeter grade, survey grade GPS, but it's usually good to within 10 to 15 feet. It's also got a camera on it, just with this handy dandy tool in the pocket. Um, you can have summer interns like BMCC students, for example, be the eyes and ears essentially in a field for an agronomist on a larger operation. This year for 2019, we had over 180 different varieties of corn. When we first started growing Pioneer corn, it's called wagon wheels, and we had sections of corn in big circles on the outside. My dad started doing that, and he thought, well, we can improve this corn growing for them. So what we did was instead of the wagon wheels on just the outside of the field, we gridded our field. We maximized as much ground as we could in the circle for corn, but still have their isolations. We tried doing this a few years ago and we just threw in plots, it was not clean. So we thought that we could use those tractors and grid it out using GPS coordinates and then measurements. And so that's how it, it is all perfectly straight and square. We just put our, you know, zero degrees, he's gonna plant perfectly north and fill the gaps and just go perfectly straight line. And we were able to maximize our field and put as much corn as we could. One of the focuses about GIS is that it's a technology that allows you to integrate all these different types of data from sensors to scouting reports to agronomic inputs and outputs. Uh, it's really an integrator. Ag is more and more data driven and GIS is the technology that can integrate um, all that data into something that's meaningful and actionable that people can base decisions on and have success with. Thank you for watching our episode on GIS and GPS. If you enjoyed this video, please go to our website, bluecc.edu, to find this video and many more like it. And while you're there, go ahead and check out the degrees and certificates that we offer to help you get started on your exciting career in agriculture.